if you were starting today as a developer, right? Maybe you're in college, maybe you're going out of college and you want to start your career. Um, is there any rule of thumb you would follow? Or is there, is there something that you could recommend to people who are just getting started and would like to work in tech and be a professional software engineer? Oh, that's hard. I know this tough question and kind of generic. No, but it's a it's it's a cool question, and and I think every developer has a different answer. So I'm just giving you mine. There are multiple levels of you know a career that you can achieve in software engineering. I truly believe that if you if you want to see a very long trajectory going on, uh, so seeing yourself progressing in your career, you really have to invest a lot of time early in your career. Um, so the first two, three, four, five years, you really have to work at night. And I'm sorry in saying that. I do understand that everyone has a life. I do understand that work is not everything, but this is a very hard job. And there's no college, there's no university that it's, it's going to teach you how to do that job for real. Um, I've been working with graduated engineers for a long time. They are super smart, super in incredibly talented people and educated people. But I can't tell the difference, you know, with self-taught developers that really spend their nights early on their careers trying to learn something more about programming. So with that being said, I'm not saying that college and university is useless because it's not like if I could go back, I would do college and university, but that's not for learning how to program. That's for knowing the unknowns that I'm facing today, because my problem as a self-taught engineer, I couldn't go to college because I didn't have money basically, and I needed to work. Um, my problem is that I'm facing a lot of unknowns, unknowns, like I didn't know that I had to learn this. I didn't know that I had to, you know, go look into this other stuff. And I have this feeling that people that studied um, have a different approach. They have a method to follow whenever they face this kind of unknown. And they probably have a broader sense of the unknowns that they are going to face moving on a project, moving on a career, et cetera. And this is very valuable. Um, again, Sometimes it's not a problem for me, other times it is. Uh, but if I could go back in time, I would probably study a bit more uh, because sometimes it's pretty frustrating. But this is not preventing you from getting a very nice career in computer uh, science or you know, in programming in general. I love these insights. Um, would, you, would you say, uh, just the last follow-up question here, would you say that the skill set that engineers need to build nowadays has been expanded to also include you know, building in public, doing uh, media, doing marketing. And is that becoming at all a, a necessity, quote unquote, or like a very nice to have? Uh, that's the tip of the iceberg. You know, um, you see developers mm -hmm. doing marketing, you see developers doing content and conferences and being influencers on Twitter. But again, this is the tip of the iceberg. This is like the 0.00001% of developers worldwide trying to um, express themselves. And they're doing this pretty well, if you ask me, but the vast majority of developers are not interested in having a career that goes you know, into content creation or in building in public, in creating startups or being you know, CTOs and managers of other developers, which is fine. Like, that, that's totally cool. Um, I think it's not necessary for everyone to get on Twitter and get a hundred thousand likes on, on every post. It's it's pretty useless if you don't care about that. It's a pretty useless metric. Uh, but I do also understand that sometimes having a good network, it's really helping you in your career. So what I would recommend is, um, I said previously, you should really study in your, you know, during the night, early in your career, but during the day, just make some connections, <laughs> you know. So you only got 24 <laughs> hours. Make sure to also, you know, um, grow your networks and your connections because this is what it's gonna be life changing for you, rather than your technical skills. Like your technical skills are 
you're going to be just fine. You might not be the, the strongest in algorithms, but if you are a pretty good one in relationships, th this is helping you a lot more. 